Welcome to beautiful Cancun, Mexico. I'm Kyle Dunn with Denison Yachting, and today we're gonna to take you on a walkthrough tour of this 2017 53 Cronky Eco Trawler. The trawler lifestyle is all about exploring remote destinations, cruising comfortably and economically. On this T53 modern Eco Trawler at seven and a half knots, you can enjoy almost 2,000 nautical miles of range. But when you need to get somewhere quickly, she can hit 20 knots. And this performance is not limited to just speed and range. With her Volvo IPS 600s, around the dock, you have the advantage of three docking stations on the flybridge, lower helm, and the cockpit. We're gonna begin on the aft section of the flybridge. Most trawlers in this class, you would find a davit and a tender here. But since we store our tender on the swim platform, it frees up more space for entertaining family and friends. To the port side, you can cook for the whole group utilizing the Flybridge galley, equipped with electric grill, sink, fridge, and ice maker, both isotherm. Moving forward under shade is the heart of the Flybridge where you'll be spending most of your time. You're welcomed by this varnished teak table that easily expands to accommodate the whole party. When the leaves are folded in, you have access to grab rails and cup holders. This dinette wraps around to join the captain at the helm. The first thing you'll notice is the joystick control we mentioned earlier. Surrounding this is a Garmin 7416 GPS, Garmin Autopilot, and radar. On the port side, you'll find your Fusion head unit, VHF, spotlight control, and bow thruster. To starboard are your Volvo engine displays, throttles, and trim tab controls. Rounding out the flybridge is an excellent lounging space just forward of the helm. This boat is also great loop ready thanks to her convertible mast, reducing her air draft below 17 and a half feet. Now that we've seen the flybridge, before we take a look at the cockpit, let's go check out the bow. Here on the bow, we walk into another great space for entertaining. A sunshade offers protection for the aft section of the bow. We have a forward-facing seating area with two intimate dining tables. Further forward is a versatile area that can be used as a sun pad, as you see here, or as loungers by simply lifting this aft section. Underneath this lounging space, to both port and starboard, we have more storage. All the way forward is your Lumar anchor and windlass fitted with foot controls. You can also control the anchor from the lower helm. Another space you'll find yourself spending a lot of time in is here in the cockpit. Anchoring this space is a beautiful varnished teak tabletop serving as another option for dining with the family on board. On the port side we have our cockpit docking station complete with Volvo engine display and bow thruster. Nearby. We have our boarding door, storage underneath the steps and seating. To starboard, we have another boarding door that leads us down to our hydraulic swim platform, acting as your primary tender storage and direct access into the water. As we come back into the cockpit, here centerline, we have our engine access. We have a pair of Volvo IPS 600s generating 435 horsepower each. Between the engines, you'll find the 23 kilowatt Onan Genset. Coming back into the cockpit, we move inside to this beautiful, spacious salon. Here to port is our aft galley, which allows for an open layout, keeping you in touch with the guests outside. A closer look at the galley reveals pantry storage located above the fridge freezer. Forward of that is a four burner cooktop, large stainless sink basin, Miele convection oven, and plenty of storage throughout. At the entrance to port, we have storage for folding chairs used in the cockpit. To starboard is a wine cooler down below, extra storage, 
fusion head unit, and custom stemware and glassware storage. Across from the galley is a comfortable L-shaped seating area with plenty of storage underneath and large picture windows. Further forward is a pop-up TV paired to a Bose surround system. An important aspect in the layout of any trawler is having easy access to the side decks, which we have here on the port side. This is also where your AV equipment is located. Continuing forward in the salon, we come to the lower helm station. One thing that immediately caught my attention is the excellent visibility in every direction. We see it's very similar to the layout we saw on the flybridge. Instead, here we have a Garmin 7412 GPS with a larger Volvo Penta display. The word Kronki, translated from Italian to English, means crab. Throughout the boat, we find creative reminders of that. Similar to the flybridge layout, there's plenty of room to congregate in this U-shaped dinette. An isotherm fridge is found underneath the dinette and similar to the aft salon, additional storage under the seating. There's a lot to see down in the accommodations below. Let's go take a look. On our way down, we pass the main shore power panel. This is where you might expect to find a bulkhead, but our layout greets you with an open gathering area where the seating can easily convert into sleeping for two. Moving forward, we walk into the VIP stateroom. Huge headroom. We have an island queen bed with tons of space on either side to move around. A settee is found to port, storage under the bed, outboard on both sides, and a hanging locker starboard aft. An ensuite head and shower can be found on the starboard side, and this doubles as your day head. After the convertible seating, before we enter the master, Near the staircase is even more space for personal items. Further aft, we enter the full beam master stateroom. It feels very spacious with large hull side windows and thanks to the Volvo IPS pods, we gain a lot more headroom. To port is a desk with storage found throughout, including a closet in the port aft corner. And continuing aft, is a generous master ensuite head and oversized shower. Accessibility to systems is an important quality in a good trawler. Underfoot here in the seating area, we have ready access to the waste tank, water tank, AC unit, and other mechanical systems. That wraps up our tour on this 53 Kronky Eco Trawler. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions or want to come see her in person, please feel free to contact me anytime.